proper care and maintenance of the Type 99 Arasaka rifle requires some general disassembly referred to as a field strip. This includes removal and disassembly of the bolt and follower and can be accomplished without the use of any tools. Ensuring the rifle is unloaded and safe is the first step to any disassembly or maintenance. To remove the bolt, place the rifle in a horizontal position with the barrel facing up. While supporting the rifle with the left hand, grasp the bolt handle with the right hand and place it in an upright position, then pull it completely backward. Open the bolt catch to the left with the left thumb and pull the bolt handle slowly backward to remove the bolt and bolt cover from the receiver. Care should be taken so that the butt is not damaged by the safety knob lug in doing this. The bolt cover can then be removed from the bolt. To disassemble the bolt, start with the safety knob. Hold the bolt with the left hand and place the palm of the right hand on the rear of the safety knob. Exert sufficient pressure on the safety knob and turn it completely to the right. When the pressure is released, the safety knob will become detached from the bolt housing. Remove the firing pin from the bolt housing. Remove the firing pin spring from the firing pin. To remove the extractor, grasp the bolt housing with the left hand. After moving the position of the extractor to above the elliptical hole, press the extractor forward and detach. To remove the follower spring and follower, first open the floor plate by pulling the floor plate catch to the rear. After the floor plate opens, grasp it with the left hand. With the right hand, grasp the lower blade of the spring slightly above the bent portion. Lift upwards slightly and pull backwards. It will then become detached from the floor plate. The follower and the follower spring are disassembled in the same manner. With the rifle field stripped, it can be properly cleaned and then reassembled. Further disassembly of the rifle is covered in a separate training film. Assembly of the rifle is the reverse of disassembly. Assemble the follower and follower spring in the reverse manner of disassembly. Insert the follower into the magazine well and press the floor plate against the rifle. Maintaining pressure on the floor plate, pull the floor plate catch to the rear until it latches. In assembling the extractor, align the extractor collar ears with the elliptical hole of the bolt housing. Fit the hole in the bottom surface of the extractor and with the left hand, grasp the bolt body together with the spring portion of the extractor Then press the extractor outward with the right thumb and push it into place which connects it with the extractor collar. After assembly, turn the extractor to the left and engage the projection behind the extractor hooks into the groove of the extractor housing. Then place it accurately over the right locking lug of the bolt. Insert the firing pin spring into the firing pin. In inserting the firing pin into the bolt housing, the sear lug must be fitted into the rear semicircle, otherwise it will be impossible to assemble the bolt. In fitting the safety knob, the lug in the middle of the axle is fitted into the narrow groove on the inside of the rear part of the firing pin, then pressure is exerted. 
If it does not enter, even after application of pressure, turn slightly to the left or right so that the proper contact is made. After the safety knob enters, turn it completely to the left, then relieve the pressure. The bolt cover can then be placed on the bolt by placing the bolt handle through the hole in the bolt cover. When the bolt is fitted into the receiver, the correctness of the bolt assembly is rechecked. The catches on both sides of the bolt cover are fitted into the grooves on the sides of the receiver. The bolt retainer is opened outward, the bolt pushed forward, magazine platform depressed downward, and bolt handle lowered, completing assembly. Then the trigger is pulled and the firing pin is left in the sear catch position. To function check the rifle, start by unlocking the bolt and drawing it fully to the rear. The bolt should not come out of the receiver. Press the bolt forward. The last round hold open on the follower should keep the bolt from going forward. Depress the rear of the follower and close the bolt, turning the bolt handle down. Place the rifle on safe and pull the trigger. The trigger should move to the rear, but the firing pin should not be released. Place the rifle on fire and pull the trigger. The firing pin should be released, making an audible click. The rifle should be left in the fire position for storage. The next film in the series will cover loading and unloading. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.